What's going on, friends? Hope y'all are doing all right right now, wherever you're coming from, whenever y'all are coming from. Today's video, we got Paul Kim, Me After You, friends. So this song was in the comments of the last song I just checked out by him, a Love Letter, which literally had me holding back tears the whole time. I was trying not to be as vulnerable, but it was just, man, it shot me in the heart. It was an absolutely beautiful song, beautiful video. It was just so good so good and i wanted to check this song out because someone in the comments said hey this is another song that is just equally as transparent and beautiful and wonderful paul kim definitely is an amazing writer i only know that one song but his writing just really got to me so i wanted to check this out see what it's about see if it'll pull my tears out again so without further ado let's check this out friends i appreciate y'all coming to the channel as always if you enjoy the content please consider subscribing if you enjoy the video please consider liking let's check this out let's see what paul kim got for us in store right now 4k no nope, 1080 that's fine it works Guys, I, 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 it's, uh, I know this is what I asked for. I, I'm, I'm asking for the feels, but it's like, dude, right off the bat, he does the piano again, the soft voice, the amazing lyrics. I love that he's like, thinking of you, open up my eyes. Like, that's such a pretty, I open my eyes by thinking of you in the morning. That is a beautiful, simple, line that is just i can already feel it guys i can already feel it in the video it's gonna come that's okay it's fine we're good that's what i asked for Guys, this is gonna be a crazy take, but I feel like, and this might not be the case in in South Korea. To be honest, this might not be the case. But like in America, I feel like we are lacking, at least in the mainstream, because this this I don't want to say this is the mainstream, but it has sixty something million views. It's huge, crazy. We are lacking artists, or at least artists like this love love writing artists that put their whole feelings on a page in such a transparent way. I feel like we don't get this. Honestly, like I don't I mean I don't listen to the radio to be honest, but like it's so beautiful to just see him pour his whole 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 heart out in a song and you you read the lyrics and you can really comprehend like, "Oh yeah, dude, this is like this isn't some surface level stuff. This is this guy, this man just literally letting it flow from his heart onto the page." I think it's so beautiful. So beautiful and so under not underappreciated. I just wish we had I just wish we had more in our American music, you know what I'm saying? I love this videography. Oh. Oh.
y'all but it it got me thinking of my baby got me thinking of my love and it hits right in the heart especially watching all of this This is such a cute still of this actress i don't even know if these are actors but they do such a good job of conveying their own love towards each other even if it's fake love real love i don't know guys but it's just oh i love it we love to see people in love guys we love it especially the way paul kim is writing this Guys, that ending, that ending, that ending got to me, guys. That ending got to me. That was so beautiful. Love is beautiful, right? Like, I don't know. Who hates on love? You hate, if anyone hates on love, bro, you're just a hater. You're just sad. I mean, I don't want to sound ugly, but why, uh, who, who can hate on love? It's a beautiful thing. Let's check this out. Look at this comment. Came back to this song because it had always reminded me of my husband who passed away from leukemia last December 2019. I'm sorry about that, Natalie. I was 29 and he was 31 when we married. Right after New Year, we knew each other since college and had many things in common, such as liking K-pop, which brought us to this wonderful song that we always listen together and become our favorite song. Fortunately, he was diagnosed with leukemia months after our marriage, losing hope already. He was doing his best to survive for me, but his sickness got the best of him. We sung this song. While I was holding his pale hands until his last breath, now I can't listen to this wonderful song without having tears in my eyes. Thanks for ruining the fucking mood, Natalie. God damn. No, I'm just kidding. That's really sad. I'm sorry to hear that. But, like, shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit, dude. That was heavy. Very sweet, though. Very beautiful song, and it makes sense why she would listen to it. This might be a perfect wedding song to us, but me, this is song is special because the you in the song always refers to the inner me. The song makes me in love with myself back. That's awesome. So important to love yourself. I get it. I get it. It's beautiful. Um, these songs that Paul Kim has been showing us. I'm not familiar with Paul Kim. This is the second song I've ever heard by him. But man, does he have a way with words? Does he have a way with his writing, his lyric writing? I don't know how he does his writing process, but it is so transparent, so genuine, so beautiful. And these visuals that he has in his videos, I don't think I've even seen what he looks like. I don't know what he looks like. But the uh, the love stories that he conveys in these videos, granted I've only seen two, are so beautiful. And they just, they pull the emotions right out of me. You know, I try my best not to not i just you know i don't want to be crying in my video it's not like i think it's okay to cry in front of y'all totally but it's like i don't want to be fucking bawling in my in the video uh but it's it's something it says something that he has the ability to pull that out and i have to kind of stop it from coming all the way out you know what i'm saying so 
I love it. I love his songs. I love this song. I love uh, Love Letter. Um, I just want to hear more, guys. I stated in the last video. But if y'all know any other songs that I'm missing out by Paul Kim, any other soft songs, they don't have to be soft and sweet. I'm down for whatever. But I am always and will always be a sucker for love songs, soft songs, sweet songs, always. So if y'all have anything by him y'all think I would love or any just any suggestions in general, y'all drop them in the comments below and we'll check them out together, friends. I appreciate y'all coming to the channel. As always, if y'all enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing. If y'all enjoyed the video, please consider liking. Y'all have a good one, guys.